Hello, this is Chaos Balloon, and welcome to more Let's Play Sword of Mana Blind! Last time, we found this cave place after finding this floating rock place. This time, we're hopefully going to get into the underwater volcano where the mana sword is. Or, you know, whatever. Um... Yeah, I know that pretty much sums it up. Ooh, it's a... Oh, I'm so glad that was actually a box, because I ran right into it without thinking. Um... But, I saw a thingy over here. Aha! Well, what's on the other side? Boxes? Are you a mimic? You totally are, you son of a bitch. Well, I know how to deal with your con. Face the correct direction. And hit it with a mace. Well, it's called a mace, but it's really more of a flail. Of course, the thing that's called a flail is it is sort of a flail, like, I'm not actually sure what the name for that is, but it's a Japanese thing, so... I mean, I don't think it's necessarily wrong to call it a flail, let's put it that way, but wait, before I change... Mmm... Yeah, okay, I want to get up there. So, how do I do that? Okay, not a mimic. Because I almost stepped on it for, before checking. Are you a mimic? No. Okay then. Glad I checked. And now I change. To this thing. I mean, I guess it is a... Wait, I actually want to kill that. Is my sword actually effective against you? It is. Well, it's not really that... It's not as effective as my bow, to be honest. Keep in mind, my sword does way more damage than my bow. The... A not-effective sword does about the same amount of damage as a regular effective bow. With my character. Keeping that in mind... Yeah. Anywho. Let's, uh, go to the next area. Mmm... Oh, there's, a uh, boxes and a statue, and... Who is that? Give me my... Thank you. Hmm. That's interesting. Well... A, it's a robot? What? Production plate. Vadol Empire. Type Warbot. Owner... Mur? What's something? Uh, that's a good quest. Um, it seems to have come online. Well, that's a giant squid. Lester did one damage to it. That seems to imply that arrows will not be very effective. Man, I can't even hit the damn thing. Okay, I don't know how much damage it actually did. Oh no, that's, that's decently effective. So Lester's just a weak ass. At ah, stop, no, stop it! I need to kill these fish. Because they are wrecking me. Ah. Okay, I think the fish are gone. Please don't hit me with that, thank you. Where, there it is. Man, one thing I'll say for sure, if ever I play this game again, I am going to f make sure I- well, first of all, if I play this game again, I'm going to look up all the damn things. This sort of defeats the purpose of, a, of doing it blind like I'm doing it here. But in future playthroughs, screw that noise. Um, but aside from that, I'm definitely going to focus on a weapon that's not the sword. What? That only did one damage. Like, the bow was a good choice. Of course, the next playthrough I'd do, this theoretical playthrough, would probably be as the girl. So I might just do the staff instead. Which, admittedly, may run into the same problems as the bow, where I have to constantly 
or with the sword when you constantly switch to a ranged weapon, probably the bow. Uh, but on the other hand, the staff has a really, really good uh, super attack. So you know, it's kind of tempting just for that reason. Please just die before you kill me, because you're awful. No, you can do that. Oh, well, that's a little bit annoying, but I don't really care about the... Okay, stop doing that. It's annoying, and I need to aim at this fish that will kill me. Hmm... Okie dokie. Ah! It's sort of a shame I can only hit it once per attack, but you know what you can- Oh no! I totally have a arc for two there. Oh, I should actually finish healing up. I also just realized Lester died, I'm not really sure when that happened. It was probably killed by the fish though. In fairness, those fish were dealing mad damage, like... Those things could have killed me easily enough, so... As far as things for Lester to be killed by, well, there have been a lot worse. Okay then, uh, how the hell did the damn robot send me? I think that's where I want to go, and I think this goes back to the statue. I was right. Stupid robot. Ooh, there's a big cave hole here. I wonder where that goes. I'm gonna save first. Because I saw the place I should be going. Oh, this actually goes like just straight to the subsea volcano. So I guess it's opened up. In which case. Okay. For a second there, I thought it was going to make me fight the squid again. So. Oh, this doesn't actually go anywhere. Huh. Well, go figure. Okie dokie. Into the volcano. I guess that means we're under the ocean now. I still think it's pretty idiotic, the the whole concept of this place, but, I mean, we don't even have a submarine. Okay, do not walk on lava. You can walk on lava, but don't do it, because it hurts a lot. Of course, on the other hand, with the guy, at least you sort of need to do the sword thing, because the Sword of Mana is presumably a sword. Okay, that turned into lava. Um... Oh, Lester is not going to last very long here. Oh, you know, I didn't need to run across the lava to reach this. Whatever, it doesn't act lava doesn't actually do that much damage, to be honest. It's not really a big deal to walk across it. Which is a little surprising, actually. Well, I mean, it's not really that surprising. I mean, I've played Final Fantasy 1. And not only is the lava not a big deal to walk across on that one, it's actually preferable because you don't take. because you don't fight encounters if you're on a floor that deals damage. Something I took great advantage of. Although it does sort of kill you if you stick to it too long. Okay, you probably explode, is my gut feeling. So, let's do that. Um, oh, wow, that, that hurt a lot. Note to self, be mindful of exploding rocks. Why do explosions hurt so much? That missed me. Ha ha ha! I was honestly sort of half expecting that to explode. Bumpkin? Oh, that exploded. I guess it's a proximity thing. Hmm. I should have just cut across the lava, though, to be honest. <laughs> Would have taken a hell of a lot less damage than the explosion did, that's for sure. Mm. 
Okay, I seem to have missed that box, but you know, I'm sort of getting to the- Oh, these are sword ones. That's not a sword one, though. That one is. That's stabbing. Also stabbing. Okay, yeah, it is proximity. But, you know... I wonder if this will... Nope. At least I didn't take damage from it because I got knocked down by the thingy. Actually, wait. I feel like I might get something if I kill all of them. No, you're stabby. You're cutty. And the one by the door is cutty. Oh, and they've killed Lester. So, you know, that's great. Okay, if I hit the correct button, that'll actually help out a bit. You do that. So, mind the explosion. You guys are both stabby. So, the arrows. Uh, no, the other way. The arrows. And... Well, it was worth a try. It didn't take up that much time to do that. And, well, let's be honest, Lester, if not here, he would have just died somewhere else. Ha! Combo! I'm starting to get the hang of it. I don't really like fighting stuff on this floor, though. Okay, that is not effective. Face the correct direction, please. That's not really effective either. So... Stop facing forward! Also, this thing's actually pretty slow. Uh, I think that was the... No, hit it! I am not dealing any damage to you. That tells me that... Well, you might be vulnerable to magic, but, you know... No, I... Seriously? Homing fireballs? Did you really just do that? That is bullshit. Is what that is. Oh, there is actually nothing here. But yeah, so those cloud things are kind of scary. No, go off. Um... Because even if I can hurt it with magic, it's still... Well... Ah! Homing fireballs! Well, I was saying, right, even if I can hit it with magic, which is by no means a certainty, pretty much everything I've ever fought that I can only hurt with magic tends to take an inordinate amount. And I'm sort of struggling to just keep myself freaking healed, so... In fact, I need to sit down. Because my MP is gone. Five at a time. That is so slow. What am I gonna... Hmm. If those are weak against magic, then what would they be vulnerable to? My first guess would probably be water. I'm in a volcano after all. But... Off... And they shoot fireballs, so... Hmm. As well. But... This stuff is not always intuitive. Especially in this game. That guy up there is going to shoot something at me, isn't he? I definitely feel like he is. He definitely wants to. Oh, he just did- Oh, yeah, he shot me. Ah, stop it! Enough with the fire magic! <laughs> okay, I got a seed, and I'm going to kill you, because that's at least one person who isn't shooting fireballs at me. Homing fireballs, that is such bullshit. Oh, you're a mimic. Well, I'm going to kill- Two hits on Mimics, that is nice. Fire homing fireballs, not so nice. Open the damn box! There we go. Now, GDFO, please. I was totally standing in the lava for a second there, but I didn't take any damage. So, you know, I'll take it. Mm. 
Um, what is this? A gummy frog. Terrific. Okay. Where do I actually want to go then? Um, I came up from there. Oh, hey, it's like a moth. They're moth things now. I bet I can hurt these. Oh, right, I forgot about the eye lasers. I don't know how I managed to forget about that, to be honest. Uh, yeah. There oh, I'm on fire! You still a mimic. Still gonna kill you. And then I need to actually heal a bunch again because the fire hurts. Like, walking through lava doesn't hurt too much. Being on fire, uh, it seems, does. That, also, I... L Seriously, though, it seems like it's f it's just freezing me up sometimes. Yeah, the fire actually stops me from a doing anything, which is bullshit. You don't stop moving when you're on fire. You run around. Or roll around. You move, is what I'm saying. Only an only a bloody idiot would stand sti perfectly still. And seriously, I'm just burning... Well, yeah, I'm just burning through my MP right now. Mm. I... I need... It's almost like I need better armor or something. Well, or something. Hmm, there's, it looks like there's something over there, but I can't reach it. Hmm. Oh, it's a box! Seriously? <sighs> Fine. Okay, so... It kind of looks like there was nothing in there. Though. Like, it was just the one thing. Which doesn't seem right. I feel so... Mm. No, there's definitely a thing on the other side there. But I can't reach it. So, that means I need to get to the other side. I don't suppose I can jump down here. No? I guess that would be too easy. Um... Hmm. I can't jump across. And... There's nothing I could flail onto. But it seems pretty clear that that's where I need to go. And just to double check, there is absolutely nothing in here. Well, there's something in here, but nothing relevant to the task at hand. So, if that's the case, then either I need to do something that I don't know, which is quite possible. Maybe, like, do I need to... Oh, I was set on fire again, so I was freezing because that's bullshit? Um... Okay, seriously though? Pull out the damn arrows for the moths. I don't wanna... That actually deals less damage than my sword. Hmm... But I think I might, like, need to... Maybe... Sit off one of these holes? Kill the hedgehogs, because they get in the way and I can actually kill them. And... yeah. I still cannot even remotely do that consistently. Not even close to consistently. Now. The guy said that if I poke these, that they will... If I poke the weak floor spots, that they'll open up? But that's the only spot that opened up. I still probably shouldn't walk on it, though. Hmm. They open up... Okay. Up there is where it was before. So... 
I was in this room then, but I've killed all these guys and nothing happens when you do that. Is there... Oh, there's a thing over here! What? Well, I can't fit in there. Um... This is... Oh, you know, I bet I can use bubble to get through here, to move through this area safely. That just occurred to me. I mean, I'm not going to, but I bet I could. Oh no, that's Stabby. Uh, you are no, also Stabby. No, you're the slashy one. So... Can I... Nope. Can't... Hmm. I think I'm missing something. I feel like there is something which I am missing. Haven't been up there. I guess that's a start. And that's what I really need right now. Let's see, I came in here through here, so... Ow. Oh, I'm almost dead. Shit. Bloody exploding pumpkins. Also, the walking lava probably didn't help much, I'll admit. Okay, well this got me to a box. And I can see another area from here. So, presumably I need to get to that other area. And I see no obvious way to do that from here, so let's go back a little bit further. Mmm... There is another path. cha cha Have I already be- Oh! There's a thingy! That has to be the way I need to go. But first... Box! Okay then. On that note, I think I'm gonna stop off here. So join me next time when we continue screwing around in this awful, awful volcano. Although, oddly enough, it's not the lava that's awful. Actually, magma. We're underground, remember. I, but I digress. Until next time, this has been Chaos Blue with Let's Play Sword of Mana Blind, and have a good day. Bye! This world to be